Hey everybody, welcome to Video Game Corner. I'm Jay Tos, and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial on how to make reproduction cards. Today I'm going to teach you guys how I, uh, my technique on desoldering boards. So we're going to be doing an SN ROM, and when you work on an SN ROM, this is to make games like Sweet Home and um, Final Fantasy 2. And on this board, like I, I showed in the last video, let me adjust the uh, let me adjust the the zoom here. You have a character chip and a program chip. Now, the way the SN ROM is set up is you leave the character chip in, and you only have to pull the program chip. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's turn it around. And we're going to zoom in here. I'm kind of have to be careful with my camera. Now, each one of these little pins here has to be desoldered. And desoldering, you have to be really careful because when you pull the chip out, what will happen is, is um, if you pull it out and it's not properly desoldered, uh, you'll end up ripping parts of the board out and then the board is junk and you can't fix it. It's just no good. So, um, now, I want to show you this. Let's back up here. This is a desoldering iron. And it's got... The tip has a little hole in it, and that's what you put over the uh, the little needles on the end of the EPROMs, or not? The, I mean, these are mask ROMs, sorry. The end of the chip, and then you 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 hold that. You you the way you do it is you you're going to squeeze this. You put it over till the solder melts, and then you let go, and it sucks it out. And you want to suck as much solder out. You want to get a, a clean. Um, uh, you want to take take it out as cleanly as possible. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to show you how to do this. So, come on, auto zoom, auto focus. I mean, okay, all right, there we go. Now we're going to be doing the. So we're going to squeeze it, and then we're going to put it over. And you hear that little suck suctioning sound. And then what I do is I tap it like so. I tap it on this part here on the handle. And what it does is it just gets any kind of solder out of the out of the tip. And what you have here is you see that one right there? Let me adjust it. I'm trying to get the camera because everything's so tiny. And what you get is you see how the solder's missing on that one pin right. Let me see, right there. You have the solder, it's missing the solder. And you can kind of see through it now. See the difference? Now you have to do that with every single uh, one of these pins. And let's do another one. And I always just kind of give it a little wiggle and I push down. And then I suck out the solder. And then you can also take it, you can kind of move the pin around just to make sure it's not, uh, uh, you know, holding on. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times if you you know you got to make sure you get everything. And you always listen for that that like that sound. If you don't get that sound, then every so often you want to just take the bulb and just squeeze it a bunch of times and then of course you want to keep tapping it out. Because when you tap it out, that you know, that keeps all the solder out of there cuz it'll build up in here. And you also have to make sure that your tips are, um, are, are you have to watch your tips because what happens is, is the older they get, 
like here's an older tip and what happens is you see how the uh, the center is kind of hollowed out a little bit and this tip isn't even very old that's a new tip and I don't want to burn my hand here let's see if I can get them right next to each other sorry guy it's really hard to get this uh, adjusted well basically what you want to do is when that tip the more the more uh, it gets the hole will get bigger and the bigger the hole is the harder it is to desolder anything now these tips these replacement tips you get this is a radio shack desoldering iron and it's a great it's a great desoldering iron it costs about 13 bucks um, at Radio Shack or you can get it from Radio Shack online and the tips cost a buck ninety nine and Radio Shack has an eBay and you can buy them on eBay for a buck ninety nine with free shipping and no tax and I usually buy like ten at a time or more because I do so much of this now and that way I can, I can you know I like to use fresh tips as much as possible and if I can use you know one tip for like four or five boards or even less if I can I, I'll do it because I'd rather just have good boards than or good tips you know and have the board nice and and cleanly desoldered as opposed to having you know to fight it because the worse it gets then you have to sit there and you have to fight it and you have to keep doing it over and over again you're getting solder all over the place and it's better to just you know nice and clean like what I'm doing now so that's the kinds of things you want to you know you want to look at so I got half of it done so here let me go ahead and uh, I'll show you the difference see there's the top this row here that I haven't touched yet and then you can see the bottom row you see how it's all kinda like the solders all missing the drop around the the, the legs it's kind of a uh, you can kind of see through it there and then the top has the I haven't touched the top yet you can see the difference and that's what you want it to look like you want it to be as clean as possible because uh, you know with these things these things are very delicate and you know you don't want it to uh, have all the the you know, you, you, you don't, you, you just don't want to get solder all over the place. That's why it's always best to use a, the the best kind of, you know, the cleanest tip you can find to, you know, to 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 go ahead and get this stuff off. And that way, you don't have to, you know, like I, you know, like I said, the 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 cleaner it is, the easier it is for this chip to come out. I'm almost done with this chip almost done now don't rush this when you do it I've been doing this for a while so I tend to uh, I tend to go I tend to go a lot faster than than a lot of people oh see what happens uh, let's see right there I kinda got a little solder on there not a big deal. I'm gonna show. I'll show you guys how to clean that off once you get the chip out. So, and one more. All right. So as you can see, this started out. This this I use this comic book backboard. That's solder right there that I pulled out of the off of the uh, out of the board and this was all clean when I started these are burn marks from it because I use you know I try to do that instead of getting it on the table and uh, so what we're gonna do now what I do with this is I take I take the board and you know you have the chip desoldered and I give it a I give it a good little tap just to kinda knock anything loose and I've actually had these things like fly out, fly out, fly out, I don't know, I can't talk. Now what I do is I take a pair of needle nose pliers and I grip the chip. 
and I squeeze it. Then I take it with this hand. I'm left-handed. You, you'll probably right-handers will do it backwards, I'm sure. And then I take it and I slowly twist it. And you hear that sound? I just kind of just break it loose, and then I do it down here. Same thing. I just grip it, grip the chip, and then I just wiggle, and I wiggle, and eventually. it will come loose. Now, if you don't hear that little sound of the pins moving, you're going to have to desolder it some more, but it means it's not ready to come out. All right. The chip is, I bend it off on one side and I leave it like so. Then I take the needle nose pliers like so and I wiggle it again. And There we go, it came right out. And there's your old chip, it's worthless. Now, what you want to do is you want to run your thumb over the top here. And you want to make sure that nothing... See, what will happen is on here you'll have like little pieces of the board that will come up. Everything will come break and come loose if you did it wrong. Now, this feels really, really smooth, so nothing came came loose and then you put it up to the light make sure you got you know you got all your points out and I see that I got a little bit now after that I take this tool here that you can get it you know at a radio shack too and then that's where that solder is that little bit of down of solder right here you just take it and you just kind of just lightly, very lightly. You don't want to you won't, don't want to scrape the board. And you just lightly just the, the solder just comes right off. You just want to just kind of just scrape it and just make sure you got it all. See, one of the pins didn't come out right here, but that's no big deal. We just take our handy dandy desoldering iron. Zoom in for you. Okay. Now, you have a pin that's right there. We're going to do it again. You just kind of move it around. Yeah, you want to hold the board. This will be a lot easier if you, because you guys won't be having to film while you're doing this. And there it kind of just popped out. When you desolder, then you can also, uh, there's also a trick where you can push the air through the hole. And then that's the hole there. Now, sometimes, let me adjust the focus again. Okay, sometimes it's not going to be a perfect hole. So a trick I picked up is I take a thumbtack and just a regular plastic thumbtack and then I put it in the hole and I kind of just wiggle it and you don't want to shove it through you just gonna kind of wiggle it in a circular motion and it kind of just spreads the solder apart and that way because you don't want to break you don't want to shove it through and break anything because you don't want to do anything like that to ruin the board. Ideally, if you do everything uh, right, and I, and I usually can do it right, I think it's because I'm holding the camera and I have the, the board really far away from my body, and I can't like lean over because I got the camera in front of my face, so I'm having some a little bit of problems. Now what will happen is, is you get this little bit of solder like that, and that's where this tool comes in handy again. Let me... Uh, and you just basically just take it and you lightly, lightly there and it just kind of breaks it off. You don't want to do any kind of rough uh, you don't want to push on this board rough at all. You want to do everything nice and gentle because if you if you push in too hard you could you could damage the board and 
that's a big no-no because you know you damage the board it's no good and it's not like you can fix these things I mean if you can I don't know how to do it but um, that's pretty much it um, you know like I said you just go around with like your uh, if you, you take your thumbtack and you just kinda you just kinda take it and open it up a little bit and just you check all your holes just kinda open them up a little bit so you, when you put your new chip in and that's pretty much it and sometimes when you open up the hole you don't even have to uh, you know scrape it off if it's wide enough you just kinda just push the solder away you just kinda solder is really um, uh, what's the word malleable I guess is the word so it's it bends it's it's really soft material so you can you can do a lot with it but um, so there you go you have an SN ROM that is ready to is ready to get a new ch a new wired up chip with a new game in it, and uh, so yeah, you can um, I can make a, a Sweet Home or a Final Fantasy II. I program the chip, rewire it, and solder it in, and I will be showing you guys how to do that in a later tutorial. But uh, the first tutorial, I showed you guys what the boards look like. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to my system of desoldering. You may have your own way of doing it. Other guys have probably a better ways than I do. This is a way that I developed from practice, and it works well for me. I very rarely, maybe one out of every maybe 30 boards I damage, and it's just mostly because I'm using a bad tip, a bad desoldering tip, you know, a worn out one or I'm just not paying attention my own you know it's all it's usually because of me being stupid as opposed to where I rush sometimes if I rush then and then I'll wreck a board so if you if, if you're patient and you're careful you you won't wreck these most of the time I mean, it's there's always a possibility it'll happen so but anyway uh, that's how you desolder a board and now this board is ready to uh, put a game in um, if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, post them uh, in the comment section, or send me an email if you uh, a, a private message if you have any questions and you need me to answer them. I'm, I'm happy to help any way I can. If if I know how to do it, I'll do it. So anyway, uh, this is Video Game Corner. I'm Jatos, and I will see you guys next time.